Let's go, new. Ow, oh, son of a. So I think it's actually only been about two and a half weeks since uh, all this all this fiasco went down. But uh, seems like a lot longer. Oh. Seems like a lot longer. Yeah, I got to clean the kitchen again. Did y'all even see the stove? I mean, I know you haven't seen it, but did y'all even see that we have a stove? So yeah, I don't even know if you saw that we had a stove yet, but you know, we just been broke as fuck and had to just save enough money to be able to uh, eat out every night because you know I was under the initially I was initially under the impression that I would be able to just go ahead and keep the kitchen routine going by washing dishes in the bathtub and working off this minimal counter surface but uh, I mean I did cook steak last night right but only because there was some in the freezer the last of the food in the freezer and we didn't have any money to go out <laughs> so uh, I got all this stuff out now I'll go ahead and rip these down oh my goodness we may not have another kitchen for a month and a half. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're on the big, uh, I'd like to say we're on the big cabinet getting operation, but that's not the case because uh, we don't have the money for all that because she's still broke Foot McGee and the paycheck was the lowest one yet. I mean, not the lowest one yet ever, but like more in accordance with the amount she used to make. So that's no goo. And uh, I got run on illegal as free because we got no lights on the trailer, but I got the connectors here. I thought I was, I was doing so good to remember everything I needed for the shopping trip and the list and all the things and everything and get this and everything. I got the socket set, so I don't have anything to take the battery off. I gotta disconnect the battery first. Start cutting wires. Tip. Oh, there you go. Know you're ready to go. Before I start cutting wires to tap into the trailer shit and, you know, I gotta disconnect the battery so I don't blow a fuse. So then I'll have to save to home and we'll just have to go to the big Home Depot trip without them. So here we go. I mean, y'all aren't coming with, but I'm still going. I have been shopping for the better part of six hours. <laughs> going slow, trying to take my time, trying to get all the shit I need first. Um, all told, going to be about t between $2,000 and $2,500 to redo the entire kitchen. You know, all the cabinetry, sinks, paint trim, but some of that money is going to be investment in tools like clamps and shit that I'll still, clamps, but uh, that I'll still be able to use, I got a 50 foot, a 50 foot, a 60 dollar, six and a half foot level there, you know, shit like that, 60 dollars for a fucking level, 40 dollars for some fucking clamps, really like 50 bucks for some clamps because I bought a few, a few extras, like shit like that, hello, shit like that, that uh, that I gotta have. Shit like that that I gotta have. So, but needless to say, we're still not gonna have a kitchen for another month probably, which kind of sucks. But I just dropped 600 bucks and that gave me uh, three cabinets, the rest of the floor, and uh, like I say, incidentals, clamps and shit, and glue, and tile, and OSB, and uh, of course, then I had to buy dog food, cat food, and sodas, and shit like that, so. Oh my goodness. Broke again. Okay, well, you haven't seen the cabinets, and that's totally the best view, so look at that. Yeah. So the three cabinets that I can afford, even though that's a drawer, set of drawers, but you get the idea. That's a, that's a cabinet, and that's a 54-inch triple cabinet behind it. So the one behind it and the one on top will go on the wall. That one is going to be on the floor here. And then 24 inch on the wall right beside it. And then 54 inch running the gamut across the how you doing. So even though it's all close as far and you can't see it. But so I got my, and we got the OSB extra, even though that doesn't quite equal an inch because you can't find inch plywood anymore. And that's what I need to bring up. Let me, where am I going to put this camera? That's what I need to bring up. That's what I need to make up is one inch from the current piece of plywood I have in a subfloor. If I'd have known I was buying OSB, I would have put that on the bottom, but I probably should have only bought OSB. I just never been a big fan of it, but I know you're supposed to use it for subfloor. So at least it'll be part of the subfloor now. 
So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Fucking motivate myself. How's it going, dude? Ow, oh, son of a dick! That's a that's a cabinet right there. It's a fucking poke you right in your arm. So yeah, that's what the walls should look like. All the nice white, right? And this is what they do look like because of the propane. Right? And that's where it was worse. Whoops. That's where it was worse because it's where we cooked. Right? So it's less. You see it's just slightly brownish on this wall. But like right around the stove, super dark brown. All propane stains. Never again though. But you know, after you get it in the sled, you gotta you gotta kind of zero it out by trimming that blue plasticky nylon. Can you see all the shavings? Oh my goodness! But now it's uh, she's locked in, right? Look at all the ex look at the shavings all over my. Oh my goodness! But that little block locks it in place now, and so she zeroed out. So if I take her off the sled, I don't have to worry about it when I put her back on. Okay, we're gonna try to film the official first cut 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 here with the uh with the uh how you doing with track saw not track saw but you know you know what I mean okay so this bad boy got little rubber grips in the bottom of it a little rubber grips in the bottom of it and uh keep it sticking to the board more or less and uh, although you can see that I got some gapage right there between the board and the thing so I don't know if I'm loving this method per se, but that's probably because the board itself has got bent to it, so. Alright, and then you just kind of make your marks, your measurement marks, and you make sure the track is lined up on both ends with the marks, and then get your saw in the track and give her. You know what I forgot to do is I forgot to, uh, I forgot to readjust the depth of the saw blade off the track. <laughs> I'm not even touching wood. I still got a little more blue, so I don't know what's up with that. Oh, I apologize. It's a glove in Pittsburgh. 